great things are happening here on redwagonteam.com, the hottest selling real estate website here in sunny Southern California. Today we're going to be focused on Newport Coast real estate and look at the housing market to see what the pricing trends are for homes in Newport Coast and give you a little wisdom on that. To find Newport Coast real estate on our website, simply go to redwagonteam.com, go to the homes menu, about halfway down is Newport Coast Homes. When you click on it, you'll get this page here. This is an actual pool at Newport Coast. I was out looking at uh, property one day and it's a beautiful pool, so I took a picture. Anyway, let's just scroll down a little bit here and you'll get an idea um, of this little map search here. You can scroll over any of the properties here and click on them, get a deeper uh, view of the properties. Down here, you'll see all the properties currently listed for sale and a description of them, so you can read through and spend some good research time that way. When you click on any of the properties, you'll, it'll look like this. When it pops up, there'll be a description over here, some photos. You can just scroll through them like this. You can look at uh, a map. You can see what's listed for sale nearby. And all these little pop-ups here will be like that. Uh, you can add a reaction to it. Maybe you really love this property, you put a love it. Or you don't like it too much. You can add comments, you can share it on uh, social media, Facebook or Twitter. You can add a friend, put their email in here and invite them to help you search for a home. So there are a lot of different ways and you'll see a market snapshot down here. On the column here you have uh, all the beach cities and the number of listings in each of the cities. It updates actually daily. All right, let's look at the numbers and see what the Newport Coast housing market looks like for May 2019. Uh, for single family homes, the average selling price is $5,699,590. That's up 27.8% from May 2018 when it was $4,459,341. All right, let's see how long it takes uh, for a home once it's listed to the time it goes in escrow and closes. That time frame is 86 days in 2019. It was 75 days in 2018. Uh, I would like to say, well, how many months of supply do we have currently for sale? Kind of an indicator to tell me if is there's too much on the market, not enough on the market. Let's look at those numbers here. So. In May 2019, we have 9.3 months of supply. So we got a lot to choose from if you're shopping in Newport Coast. Of course, I'd love to show you properties there, but we have lots and lots of properties to search from. If you're selling in Newport Coast, price your property to sell. Now's the time to just price it right. So once it's priced right, the agents know, the buyers know, and it'll be better because I'll show you some statistics in just a minute that will blow your mind. So let's look at that. So I've got 9.3 months of supply in May 2019. In May 2018, I had 5.4 months. So just a more inventory means it's taking longer to sell. Let's look at the um, average price per square foot. In May 2019, it's $988 per square foot. Now this is overall. So each individual house is gonna be different in a price per square foot. If you have less square footage, it might be a higher price. If you have more square footage, it'll be changing. So whenever you fall in love with a property that you really love, whether it's in Newport Coast, Newport Beach, or another city, I'll figure out the real market value is if I'm your agent. And I don't go to Zillow or Trulia to those online magazines. I use our multiple listing service and public records to figure out what the market value is so you can make the best offer possible. And so you'll be able to see whatever the um, actual price per square foot is, which will be different from these numbers because this is just an overall view. And then this is a very interesting statistic right here. It's called the percentage of the original price that the homes sold for. So this is why pricing is the key. Homes are selling for 89.3% of the original or starting listed price. It's so really important because I have a lot of buyers that ask me, Jay, what should I offer? So that's why I like to run all the numbers, show them the differences so they can make a good educated decision on what to make an offer on and kind of, you know, work it from there. 
And then sometimes what will happen is people will start the house too high and then they'll lower it down. So there's another per, um, percentage of the last listed price they're selling for. So the final listed price. So we'll have to look at it. Did they lower the price? If they did, then we'll use this percentage. If they didn't lower the price, then we'll use another percentage. So we look at it all and make a good informed decision. So they've dropped it down to 93.4% of the last listed price that homes are selling for in Newport Coast in May 2019. I hope this information is helpful for you. Again, the average selling price in Newport Coast is $5,699,000, no, $590. And to find Newport Coast homes for sale, simply go to redwagonteam.com. I work at Realty One Group Diamond here in Southern California. And you go to the homes menu and go to Newport Coast. If you have any questions, give me a call. I'm at 562-413-7655. Take care.